Hi, my name is Peter Lind. I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. I'm going to talk about how to use Cucumber and tools that you would normally use in a Ruby on Rails project to test any web application. All the code that I will show you is available on my GitHub account. And if you have any feedback or questions, you can contact me via email or Twitter. So we're going to take a Java web application called Pet Clinic, which is a Spring Group sample application using a MySQL database. Then we'll create the Rails project with some additional, additional test tools such as Cucumber, Capybara and Pickle to test the Java web application. So we'll begin with generating a new Rails project and we'll tell it to use MySQL as a database backend because that's what the Pet Clinic application uses. So I'll cd into the project and begin by editing the gem file to set up the dependencies. So here at the bottom in the development and test group, I add the dependencies that I need. So first we have Capybara, Pickle, we also need Cucumber, and Perspec. And finally, the database cleaner. So we can switch back to the terminal and type bundle to have the dependencies installed for us. While we wait for that, we'll switch back to the editor and edit the database configuration file to set it up to point at the pet clinic database. We'll save that, switch back to terminal, and we can see the bundle sets up the dependencies. So now we'll begin by dumping out the database schema so that we can recreate and manipulate the data from the Rails app. And then we will generate some additional configuration files for Cucumber. and then for pickle. And you can see here in the other terminal that I have the Java web application running on port 8080. So now we'll uh, edit the Cucumber configuration file. So we'll point Capybara to our external app. we'll need to give it host and then we'll tell it to not run the server because normally it would uh, run a rail, rail server to run the tests in and then we will set the default default driver to selenium Selenium will uh, start Firefox for us and drive Firefox to what we tell it to. And we need to do one additional configuration at the bottom here. So we need to change the database cleaner strategy from transaction to truncation. Because if we would use transaction, the Java application wouldn't see our database changes. So now we can look at our, our test. So I have prepared a test. For managing pets, which I will we'll copy into the feature folder, and then we'll have a look at it. So here we have a cucumber feature file with two scenarios that we want to test: listing pets and entering new pets. So in the first scenario, listing pets, in the first step, we say that given a pet exists with the name Fido. When we go to the list pets page, we should be able to see Fido. So first we set up the data and then we verify through the GUI. 
in the second scenario entering a pet we say that given we are on the enter pet page and we enter some data and save it so we enter data through the GUI and then we verify it in the database all of these steps are implemented in Ruby but the nice thing about the tools that we're using is that we get them implemented almost for free so first we have pickle which is the DSL for manipulating the database which takes care of entering data and verifying data and then there is capybara which is the DSL for driving the application to the GUI which takes care of the other steps but we need to do some additional configuration to make all this work we will go back to terminal and try to run it by typing break cucumber and cucumber will actually tell us what we need to do next so first it says that there are two unimplemented step definitions all concerning the data setup and that is because pickle needs a rails model to be able to manipulate the database so we'll generate that and we need to tell it to not create a migration because we already have the database set up so we we'll take a look at the file which is in app models and here we need to make one small change we need to set the table name so the way rails models works is that it infers all the properties from the database columns and it also expects that a singular model name will be found in a table name with the name in plural that's not how the pet clinic database is set up so that's why we need to configure the table name so now we go back to terminal and try to rerun test again so now we have two failures and we can see here that it says that it can't find a mapping from the enter pet page to a path and also it can't find a mapping from the list pets page to the path so we need to add that in a file called paths.b so here we add when enter pet and then we return the real uri in the application for that And then we have the list pet page we save the file and then we try to run the test again so now that we can see that it starts Firefox and runs through the application and there we go all green tests so from zero to automated tests in about 10 minutes thanks for watching